All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. We are so excited to have you here for Grace on the Road. This was kind of a last minute fun um, trip that uh, Nathan took over to Cologne, Germany. He is at the H&H &H show, um, which is the handmade um, handmade show. So it's got a whole bunch of different things. They've got yarn and um, fabrics, and then of course our Grace quilting machines there as well. So I'm super excited for Nathan to to show us around the show over at um, H and H. But first, I wanted to just say hello to some of the people that have joined us here. We've got Mary here from uh, Central Illinois. We've got Sally here from West Virginia. Um, Oh, Linda actually lived in Germany. So they lived in Berlin when the wall came down. That's, a, that's incredible. So this maybe hits a little close to home for you. That's awesome. And then we've got Julianne Ringel here. Um, we've got Patty Sue from Virginia. Oh, so glad that you guys are here joining us. Um, we've got Kathy here from Hillsboro. Oh, again, just so excited you guys were able to join us here last minute. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring Nathan on just so you guys are aware. He cannot hear me at all. We always have some fun technology issues as we're, as we're communicating back and forth. So he is just going to kind of take the reins here and then I'll just hop in if, if I do need to answer any questions for you guys. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and hop right on. I'm going to bring him in to join us. All right, Nathan, you're good to go. Oh, sorry, you're muted. <laughs> and he can't hear us. Just a second, guys. That would be nice. I, I turned my mic on. So everybody's like, what's he talking about? I'm in this amazing place, Cologne, Germany. So that gives me a chance just to kind of reclarify all that. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, Janessa, for helping us, uh, help me specifically facilitate this on the road um, here. About a six, I think, a six hour, seven hour time difference is where we're at right now in Cologne, Germany. I'm going to be moving around. I, I Next time I'll need to get me a light. But thanks. I'm seeing a lot of people. Um, uh, commenting in. Uh, so thank you very much, everybody. Hello. It looks like we have a lot of uh, people here joining us from a lot of different places. So it's fun to be here with you. Um, again, I'm in Cologne, Germany. We were not planning on being here. This is a show that's an interesting one. So I'm really excited to bring this to you. This is a, it's called H&H, &H, a handmade show. And it really is a place over here in Europe um, that has been happening once a year. Um, the COVID times, it hasn't been a live event here for the last couple of years, but it brings together all of Europe, all of the countries around here. We're talking uh, uh, several of the countries of the European nation, um, up north, Finland and the Norways and people from Bulgaria, down Spain, uh, people from all over come to this. And it has to do with several different things. You're going to see yarns and we have fashion fabrics. We're going to see a couple of quilting fabrics um, and in booths and, and, and brands. Um, of all sorts that are here. And this is a business to business event. So we really haven't ever brought um, Grace Company into an event like this or on the road with Grace, um, you as viewers into this. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna be here. I think it'd be really fun for them to see a different angle. And we're here because a lot of these smaller shops that do carry some of the handwork, they also do um, some of the other type of machine work as well, um, whether they're doing patchwork or the knitting or others. And so it really is a great place for us to be, to come and find other types of, of customers as well. So we hope you enjoy this. Uh, you can kind of see, I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna go to the other side, give you a little bit of a better view. So give me just a minute here as we walk around and we look at several other things. So just give me just a quick moment here as we swap to my back camera. Give me a moment here. All right, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to bring this back around. All right, so here we are. And what I'm going to be doing as we walk around just a little bit is I'm going to show you the variety of what's here. And uh, just as an example, here on my left is a booth and I'm not even quite sure. Uh, it's Newton Boom Textiles. And if you can see in here, all sorts of fun fabrics. Uh, this is one if you're making jackets or different type of items and fleeces and racks upon racks, because, again, this is where when companies are going to decide what they're going to carry, they'll come to a group like this. And this is where they do all their shopping. This is something um, in 
in Houston that we would do once a year is called the Houston Market, and that's also where all sorts of companies come. That's a specific for quilting, but fabrics and notions and all those others, we come as business to businesses to find out what we could distribute through all of the US. And so this is that, but for all of Europe and with everything that's quite a bit much larger than just the quilting. So it's really fun. I'm gonna come show you a couple outfits down here. Again, this is one of these groups that has something a little bit different and they're doing a much more vibrant set of fabrics here. So I'm gonna kind of move to the side so you can see that obviously they, they brought a couple of their outfits that they've decorated with all of their, their fun fabrics. Again, not necessarily what we're looking for for quilting, but pretty fun. And then here on this side, we're gonna see another group called BTEX Textiles. And there's a bunch of yarns um, that we have there. So if you've done knitting, this would be a show that you would die for because of the variety of what that is. I'm gonna kind of go post over here again, uh, trying to think of the name, uh, some of these names again, I'm, I my last name, you thought that was hard. Some of these, good luck, uh, Kurt Froing, I wanna say. And again, more fabrics, you can see all sorts of fun stuff. And these were a couple things that they were doing, which were a couple fun plush items that they put together that they made with all these. So I'm just showing you the variety. These ones look like it's a bunch of minkies. If you look at all the different type of minky fabrics they have. And again, we're going to go over to an area that has some fashion. And we're going to come say hi and hear a little bit about where they're from and, and what their stories are as well. So we're going to step on over here and say hello to oh hi hi <laughs> hi so so is she here is she no, gone it's, it's okay from with me <laughs> oh, okay and so tell us your name uh, my name is eva eva and it? eva um tell us a little bit about your 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 um about your your company and yep. a little bit about... yeah we have a um, atelier shoop is a brand of fabrics and uh patterns so we are uh, pattern designers we design our own patterns over here, there let's go over there if you're okay can yeah. we show her? yeah sure <laughs> So these are our patterns. We have 18 patterns now. You and, this yeah, yeah, sure. And then we have the fabric collection. Um, we have also so the patterns can make can be made in the fabrics um, of our collection. Um, they are made in uh, Europe, so Italy and France, uh, mostly viscose with a lot of prints, but also some uh, knits and a couple of so like, yeah. So this is uh, one, this is uh, a fabric then that you're, yeah. you're doing? So that's a fabric um, from, it's it's made in Italy. It's um, made from textile uh, waste actually. So it's uh, recycled yarn um, and the rest is viscose. It's also FSA labeled. So it's a same sustainable um, cellulose actually um, that it's made from. Yes. And uh, we have here a high summer collection as well. So we all, sure. the, yeah, so um, the fabrics of the high summer collection that will be released in uh, in May. Um, so yeah, it's always uh, the possibility to make the, the fabric, um, the pattern in one of our fabrics or another pattern um, in the fabrics. So quick question that I would have is, yeah. do you have a favorite pattern that you like yourself? I think one of the most favorite is the the Frida blouse. Which All right, so also in the US. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, I think that's maybe the favorite one. And also this one. It's a really nice summer dress, Solange, it's called. So business is uh, me and my sister. So all of the names of our patterns are famous sisters. So we look at famous sisters and we use their names. So like now we have Olivia. It's, it's Olivia. So, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on just a minute. So I'm gonna have you hold this. Yeah. So if you'll go ahead and show and tell us that story for me again, one more time. So this is our new pattern. It's uh, called Olivia. It's also the name of my daughter. She insisted on it. But Olivia Wilde is a famous actress, and she has a, a sister Chloe and a brother Charlie, which we thought is also a nice female name. So these are our new three patterns that are released next week. So I'm um, going to show them, let's do that one more time. I'm going to bring yeah. this up close. So again, one of the things she mentioned for those of you again, is that they're naming it after like sisters or moms and, and daughters and whatnot. So this is a fun one. And again, which one was the one named after your daughter? The first one, Olivia. So this is the Olivia, she said, named after her daughter, Olivia. 
And you said uh, you said that that was a must. She said, right? Yeah, because we the previous one we used um, a um, name Stina for a skirt because of the um, the the three lost from winter seasons were Frida from Frida Kahlo, and she has a sister Matilda, which we called Tilda, and um, Stina from Christina, so famous sisters. But my daughter has a friend called Stina, so. She was like, okay, so now you need to take my name as well for one of the patterns if you're using my my friend's name. So that's why. Uh... So 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 with that, uh, you were also talking about um, some of your stuff. You talked about sustainable, yeah. or what? What's what's maybe the angle, or what are you trying to do in the fashion industry, or regarding your patterns or your fabrics? Well, the patterns we design it ourselves. The fabrics we we notice that the producers are more and more uh, looking into sustainable fabrics, um, reusing the fabrics. That's with, with the knits. It's totally reused. It's textile waste that they they collect and they make new yarns of it. And with the yarns. They make the fabrics and we make the, the sweaters um, and we focus also on the um, for the cotton you have the BCI the best cotton initiative and the viscoses you have the FSC which is a, a, a label that guarantees a sustainable um, I don't know what you call it in English the the the, the wood is coming from gotcha. sustainable yep. um, managed uh, forest actually okay so um, and then how if somebody well, if all of our viewers if somebody had a question they wanted to look at your patterns how might they find out a little bit more about you they have uh, we have a website it's uh, atelierjupe.com um, where you can find all of our products you can order as well our our uh, sewing pet sewing patterns are also in uh, PDF and are also in English and we have uh, one shop in the US, um, in Washington, I think, that sells uh, a lot of our fabrics. You can find them on the website. So it would be Kristen's. Wonderful. So again, it's A T E L I E R J U P E dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take the camera here uh, and show you that here in just a minute. I'll repeat that one more time. But thank you so much. Share your name one more time for everybody. Uh, it's Eva. And Eva, now it's you and your sister. Petra. And Bitra and you, this is your business. This is our business together as sisters. Well, wonderful. Thank you very much for taking the time. No, it was impromptu. I'm walking around saying, hey, can we grab you for a minute? <laughs> yeah. Share with some of our, our customers back in in, in the Americas. Yes. I know a lot of you are streaming from other places again. So again, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you as well. And uh, with everybody here, I'm going to show everybody the their website again is A-T-E-L-I-E-R-J-U-P-E.com. So again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. We're going to uh, take a walk as we continue to head down. Um, I'm going to, again, as we walk through, you can see uh, behind me, I'm going to show you because guess what? There happens to be a quilt. So here is one that was done with some of the fabrics locally. Some fabrics that were done on the, the booth back here to our side. And again, this is just, it's really fun for me to show you this because this is a, a side of the business again that often you don't get to see it. So again, this is all of the business to business side. So here um, you can come and see literally all those. And as you mentioned, that fabric line is not even going to be out actually till May. And some of our patterns are coming out next week. So we thought it would be fun to bring you to one of these just because of that variation. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to scan around. We're going to see another booth called the Craft Cotton Company. And it looks like they carry several different types of fabrics as well. Uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time, but I would like you to see this. We'll head down to the Grace booth. Uh, introduce you to our German distributor and see what we're doing here in Cologne, Germany. And uh, while we're doing that, Janessa, maybe if um, I can kind of come back over to you for just a minute and we can see if there are any questions as I kind of do part of this transition, that'd be great. So again, I'm going to take the camera, swap that back around as we're walking. But uh, Janessa, if you have any thoughts uh, or anything that's coming up, it'd be great. Hear me. Oh my goodness. Struggling with our mics today. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it's it's really, really cool to, to see to see everything that, that's happening um from from just the other side of the businesses that, that I haven't actually seen. I've never been to a business to business show before. Um, so it's cool just to kind of understand the industry. I guess I've never really thought about it in that way. Um 
of I guess yeah that businesses have to shop too to see kind of what they want to carry carry in their in their shows and and, and stuff like that. So it's it's really fun to see. And just so you guys know, as soon as Nathan gets to the Grace booth, as always, we love doing some live giveaways. So as soon as he gets there, um, we'll all pop back on and we'll do a couple live giveaways for you guys so you can see um, or just get a chance to win some of our fun new products. I'm thinking that the giveaways that we're going to do today is a Quilters Combo, which is one of our True Cut our True Cut products, which comes with um, our most commonly used ruler which is a six and a half by 24 inch ruler. Um, our My Comfort Cutter, which has the fantastic track and guide system. Let me see if I can actually find an image of that so you guys can see um, kind of what I'm talking about really quick. Let me glide through really quick. Quilters combo, where are you? Oh, there we go. Okay, so here is an image of the uh, quilters combo, which comes with, again, that My Comfort Cutter. It's going to come with a six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler and then a one pack um, of True Grips, which True Grips are great. I use them for everything. Um, I actually, it's kind of silly. I use them all over my house now too. I just moved into a new house and I've been using them and putting them on my furniture and in my drawers. And really they're, you can use them for just about anything. Um, it looks like Nathan's just about ready to come back on and show us some fun new things that are that are happening. So let's go ahead and I think he's ready. We'll bring him back on. Yeah. All right, Nathan. All right, here we'll be right back with what's going on. So welcome back. I did transition from upstairs to downstairs. I'm back here. Uh, Grace Booth is here on the side. I just wanted to show you again that there's a lot of things happening with knitting and yarn and all that. And I just would like to share a couple things. And this is just uh, this booth is just across from us. And I'll tell you that they have had people in their booth pretty well packed the entire time. And then um, just a wonderful lot of patterns that they're doing. So absolutely beautiful. Let me see if we can maybe, would you be available for just a minute to come say hi? Yes. So uh, I'm, I'm Nathan with the Grace Company. This is impromptu. This is our group out of the US. Yes. And we're just saying hello. And, yes. and maybe you can just tell us a little bit about what you have and what you're sharing here at H&H. &H. And what was your name? Mayena. Mayena. Isaya. I, I, say, yeah. I, say, yeah. but it, I don't know if I'm the best in English here. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I think they're going to love hearing you. Okay. So tell us a little bit about what your company is. Yes, uh, our company is selling natural fibers. And um, we have yarns from, uh, from Denmark, uh, from Peru, and from Italy, and from Japan. And um, we have this range of yarns and a lot of colors. So we have all the different yarns in in this kind of colors, nat natural. Uh, Do you mind if I have you point out a couple while you show me with the customers? Yes. Um, our main yarns are the Danish yarns here called Isaya. And it is a, a one-ply yarn and a two-ply and a three-ply yarn. And then we have some of these um, from Peru. It's the alpaca number two, alpaca number one. And uh, we also have some eco uh, yarns that are pure natural. And then tell what's your color yarns? They're what's all the in color? colors. They're all in different colors. So you see, we have all the yarns in, in a lot of different colors. Have you had a most popular? Have you had a most popular yarn or? It, with with the customers that are here well i think it's uh, it, it's mainly it's our classical yarns and we have had the same yarns for years so we um we sell all the qualities here and use them in different combinations in the in the models do you have uh, is there one that 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 people uh that really stands out to those people that come by um you hold this or you, you... well this is one of the new patterns, which is very popular. And it is in a quality we call alpaca tree and together with a quality we call spinny. Hmm. So, um, we also, um, we also use, uh, very much, uh, mohair yarn in combination with our other yarns, not alone, but in combination with a woolen yarn. 
and um, and then we also have pure pure linen here in in this model so it's 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 a hundred percent linen yarn and then we combine alpaca alpaca and uh, very thin uh, yarn we call trio and we uh, combine it uh, these two qualities together the trio is uh, linen and cotton and uh, and bamboo so three so uh, three types of materials on this two types two types yes two types of yarns and um how might somebody, if they were interested, how might they find out more about your yarns or any of that? Well, we are on the internet. So um, we have a homepage, Isaiah Strike. And uh, this is where you can find us. We are situated in Denmark, in the very north of Denmark. So is it www.isaiahstrik.dk? Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. And thank, thank you so, you so much. much again. So again, uh, pretty darn amazing. Again, this the, there's two halls, top and bottom, that are filled with all sorts of different vendors. I'm going to go turn around and you're going to see part of the Grace Co. vendor booth here. So this is where we're at with our show, which looks quite different, to be honest with you, than what we do at a lot of our shows. So on a lot of our shows, um, what we normally do is we have just a lot of open space. Here in Europe, things are a little bit different with their, their different setups. And so we have uh, all sorts of uh, fancy lighting and other stuff that goes up and over the booth. I'm going to kind of come down to this other corner. So sorry, excuse me. We're, we're going to scoot by. There we go. There we are. We'll come back down here to this side. Um, and then in just a minute, because our German distributors here, we have Ika and Harold and uh, Sandra are here helping us out. We'll get to introduce you to them in just a minute, but we're standing in front of, um, right now, this is the 15 Pro, which you're probably very familiar with on the cutie frame is one of our front and center items. It's the first time it's been actually demonstrated um, and on more of a business to business, meaning they're finding great success with it here in Europe. Um, as you would expect, not all the homes are, our various sizes and my quick story was as we've been here i'm going to be going to the uk so stick with us come back also next week because we'll be doing a little bit of a snapshot in the uk as we visit our distributor there but we had our q zone hoop frame and we thought boy that's a that's a four and a half of frame that definitely has to be small enough what we found is a lot of people kept on telling us you have something smaller can you put it away so again yes we came out with the cutie which you're aware of it has fit very very well into the context of of Europe, in addition to obviously the US and other countries, but it's really fun to see that because that was one of the big demands coming from these European countries with their homes being quite a bit smaller uh, in, in some of those cases um, and not having space for some of the bigger ones. I know a lot of you have rooms and sometimes it's not the size of the room, but it's how many other wonderful quilting tools you have and other sewing machines you have in your rooms too as well. Um, and some of it is space. So we're gonna kind of walk back over. We'll do an introduction uh really quick here to a couple people so we're going to kind of pull up right here and give me just a minute let me swap the camera around so we can take another quick look all together all right there we are hi hi so uh we're going to uh, do uh, a, a demo and we're going to do some introductions to uh, Ika and Harold. Say hi. Hi. And this hello. is uh, everybody in the U.S. Yes. Hello, everybody in the U.S. <laughs> uh, so we have a few others you want to say hi to. Here's a few others that are, yeah. are browsing. So they're all saying hi and see if there's any comments. We have a lot of people. It says um, often Europe's heat uh, cool one room at a time. OK, interesting, but at least amazing, wonderful. A lot of people. Thank you for the Grace Company. People are saying thanks. Uh, nice. By the way, it looks like you have a, a patchwork on your. Yes. Yeah. Happy Hexagon and the Quilt Cottage Company from Frankfurt. Oh, nice. Say that again. So the Yvonne Ryman. OK. Möchtet Olka. 
and Petra Schönfeld. Nice. Thank you. So fun. And I'm, I'm let me hold you. I'm going to do a close up so everybody can see. They have a couple things on their masks. So we're going to do a close up here so that she, we can see on her mask. She has her little piece of patchwork. Yeah. And then here we have another one. Quill cottage. Okay. That's the quilt cottage. Yeah. Nice. Wonderful. So thank you. So there we go. So thanks. We'll uh, come back over yeah. here to Harold and Nika. I'm going to have you hold this really quick. Yes. Okay. And uh, with with our um, group here in the U.S., um, maybe just share just really quick, because we're not going to do a lot. Just know that this is a quick teaser for something that we have coming in the summertime. And we're going to bring you into a few different countries and talk about quilting in those countries. We're going to talk about a few stories, a couple fun sites to see. But right now, Really quick, you have done several shows yeah. the past several years all throughout Germany, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And this is one that we do that's business to business, which is a little bit different. But how would you say quilting is just uh, in Europe in general? How is that going? How are things, if we were kind of to share that with our quilters back home? Um, we in Germany love the needle world in Karlsruhe. It's a very patchwork. Uh, patchwork event and uh, in Braunschweig it's very interesting but we live in Europe we love the um, summer you mean it's very international on the whole world there are a lot of quilts and a lot a lot of uh, business so she was talking about one of the shows that's your favorite is in France in Santa Marie yes um, in a small mining town I've had the fortunate opportunity to be there with with our quilt profi group as well to visit uh that is a pretty fun show yes um Very it's changed over the last few years they normally are outside it's beautiful weather up in the mountains in yes. a tent yes. where we get a, to share uh quilting with so many of the other people up there yes. Yes. so we go wonderful harold any thoughts for quilters in the u.s that you would like to share um <laughs> We are happy to work with Grace Company. It's a very reliable partner for us. And uh, it's amazing to work with uh, all parts of the team. And uh, uh, we wish uh, all the best for this company. Uh, wonderful. So, and then all of our quilters out there too. Say hi to all of our quilters again. Yes. Hey. Hello, we everybody. Around the world that continue to, yes. to join us with there as well. So, um, and then with that, just Sandra is behind us. We'll just say hi. Yeah. Um, is your daughter and she helps out sometimes with what's going on yes. as well, right? So uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to spin the camera around. We'll say hi to Sandra and then we'll kind of uh, maybe do a, a quick demo. I'm going to come over to the two of you and say hello. hello. And so uh, here we have Sandra. Hi. And then again, I don't know. A, a, a I'm Marianne. Hey, I'm Marianne. a visitor of the trade fair here. Oh, wonderful. And and Marianne, what is it that you are that you do? Um, I'm working for a website um, and we are showing new things we see here to our users, which are usually um, home sewers, a bit of crochet, a bit of knitting, everything. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, as, again, I mentioned briefly that Sandra is the daughter here. Uh, just quick, quick, quick uh, share. How is the show going? A little bit different? A uh, uh, little good, I think. Um, few people here, a uh, few uh, more people here than I think so. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think it's a good. And we see tomorrow and Sunday how it goes on. And it's my first time here on in Cologne on in the mess and um, we, we look like it's go <laughs> well wonderful thank you both of you i appreciate that we're gonna kind of uh go down here around the end where they can keep on having all their conversations you can see that we have uh, a pretty awesome little true cut display here as well and uh with that um uh really i don't have a whole lot other to say but but i really wanted to uh let's maybe come back in here where we end up getting a little there we go We'll get some light uh, on my face just a little bit there, although that's like the death light, I guess. So, um, but uh, with that, it's been fun to be with everybody. Uh, again, this is a different kind of a show. I thought, hey, let's just uh, tie into a lot of our, our quilters and our customers that are out there. Let them see a different side of the business. Again, this is where all these other businesses come in. They're looking to see what might be new to the market. 
They're looking to see what people in their regions might like. Um, this is one of the way that we try to expand internationally is to come to, to events like this so that we can connect with other business owners, finding other quilters. Obviously, you saw and heard that there are other patchwork store owners as well that are coming through, and it's fun to be able to hear their stories and see them from their regions. Again, with that, Janessa, I'm going to kind of bring you back on as we kind of conclude part of what this is. Um, I, this is a little bit of a shorter snippet. Again, we'll be coming back with you again on Monday of next week. I believe we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to be coming to you from the U. Okay. Now I will tell you, everybody's like, Hey, you're pretty spoiled, Nathan. I'm going to say yes, but no, it's not all business. I mean, it's, it's, it's mostly all business. Um, yesterday I did get about an hour and a half before the shops closed, uh, walking around Cologne town, which is really fun to see part of what that was. Um, but it uh, was flying all day, setting up all day. We are working all day. I'll be traveling between here in the UK also on Sunday, going back to work Monday, Tuesday and flying home on Wednesday, back to work Thursday, Friday. So um, with it, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thanks those for joining us. Um, we'll try to do more of these kind of events wherever we are trying to bring this to you. And Janessa, thanks again for, for helping out with all that. It looks like you did a couple giveaways for us. I don't know if you have anything else that we need to wrap up with, but with it, I'm going to turn the time back over to you. Again, thanks everybody for being here. We hope you enjoyed this. We look forward to bringing more of this to you and look forward to a, an amazing summer event where we can help and take you and transplant you in some of these other countries to see a little bit more about what quilting is in these different countries. We're excited about that as well. So thanks again for joining us. Nathan Erznosnik here at The Grace Company. All right. Oh. All right, so thank you guys. That was so fun to kind of walk around and see that. I wanted to show you guys really quickly um, how you can see the future events um, that are coming for Grace on the Road. So like Nathan mentioned, so this is our event that we've got going on here today. But if you click on event schedule, um, you can scroll down and see that on Monday, the 21st, we have an event um, in the UK and Newport, Wales, um, where Nathan is going to be joining um, Grace Company's best friend and distributor, one of the finest quilting gentlemen across the globe, Rob, um, with J&B Sewing. So you're going to want to make sure and join that um, so you can see all the fun things that are happening um, in the UK as well. So that's, again, another kind of last minute event that we're doing at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. Um, with with Nathan once again. So like I said, we're going to do uh, some quick giveaways. Um, I wanted to show you one more time. So we're giving away three quilters combos, um, which includes the six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler, the My Comfort Cutter, and then the one pack of True Grips. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, let's do something kind of fun. Um, if you guys will share with me what quilting project you're working on. So I'll give everyone a minute or two. Tell me which quilting project you're working on right now. Um, and that's how I'm going to select um, the winners of our quilters combo. So I'll give everyone a minute or so to submit what quilting project are you working on right now? Um, and we will select it from there. So while I'm waiting for those submissions, again, I just want to remind you to join us for next week's Grace on the Road. And also, just so you know, we're doing another really large event that's coming up at the end of this month, which is our Spring Fling. I think we're doing, oh my goodness, tons of giveaways. <laughs> Whenever we do our big quilt show festivals, um, we do with tons and tons and tons of huge giveaways. So make sure to register. That's how you can enter to win those giveaways. And also join us live. We always do giveaways live. We, we love giving um, great products away to our customers. So um, make sure to join us for uh, Spring Fling, for Grace on the Road, and Tuesdays with Grace. We're just doing tons of really fun live events that we want you guys to join. Okay, so now I'm going to select a few winners. We have Ruthie Ruth, who is working on a queen-sized bear quilt. So yay! <laughs> I love that. Uh, love the bear quilt. So the way that you can claim your prize, let me see if I can find Melinda's email, is you're going to email melinda at graceframe.com and she will um, just email her your information. It'll get She'll get that quilters combo shipped out to you. Okay, so our next winner is just randomly selecting someone. We'll have um, Deneen Cotton. She's working on a cra crazy eight quilting. Love that. So uh, Deneen, uh, make sure to email melinda at graceframe.com. I'll share that email in just a moment once again. And then our final winner, just picking someone random. Here we go. All right, let's see. 
we'll have Roger. Roger Hemond is working on Project Linus Quilts. Awesome. So great job, Roger. Um, I'm going to share that email with you guys one more time. Make sure to join us um, at Melinda or not join us, email melinda at graceframe.com to claim your prize. Um, and other than that, that's really all we've got for you today. Be sure to join us on Monday um, as Nathan is streaming live from the UK. Join us on Tuesday for Tuesdays with Grace. And then join us at the end of the month for our spring fling event. So you can just go to our website to see all of the information about those upcoming events. And again, thank you guys so much for joining us. It was so fun having you guys with us today. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Friday, Friday and have a fantastic weekend. See you later. Mm -hmm.